Okay, so one of my little tips for uh, images. I'm going to use my little girl's images, okay? So what I did was I, this is, I'm showing you the image, okay? And this is what I do to my images when I post them on my blog or really anywhere. Uh, I try to stay consistent with this. So, okay, so here's the image. It's it's in one of my folders. Um, and what you'll do is you will take whatever image you want to use. You're going to right click. You're going to go down to properties. Okay, let's change well let's go here first okay so if you see there's a lot of information that a lot of us do not put into this which is extremely huge because uh, you know when you go on uh, Google the first thing you're gonna do is try to look for a picture and you Google a picture by name right all right so it's pretty smart to make sure that your image is um you know named well as well as a bit of seo in the background okay so this is how i have it named now in order to really find out what's going to be good let's go to the keyword planner of uh google okay so i am going to type in newborn photo shoot all right which is what you know most people would would do okay now what I like to do is I like to go right here to filters and I like to look at the medium and high because I mean medium and low I'm sorry because if I go to high that means that there's high competition what I really want is medium to low competition because uh, I could compete with that that's easier now what we think would be the appropriate one would be what right would be a newborn photo shoot but look at what it does it's only it's low competition and it's a hundred and forty searches monthly average searches monthly okay people don't look for that okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I have the keyword section and then I'm gonna go down oh look at this newborn photography that's huge look at that um, medium competition perfect 22,200 searches a month that's good stuff right there um, okay so let's just keep going senior portraits that has nothing to do uh, maternity photos that's pretty good I mean you want you want to you want to do my average is I I really try to go above 10,000 but if I can't I'll, I'll try to do nothing lower than maybe the three to six thousand mark so let's let's do that so we have ma um, maternity photos because this is good you'll get to actually see them before so let's um, let's go right here into the details section and we're gonna do tags so we're gonna do um, maternity ah, what was it maternity where did it go? Oh, maternity photos. Okay, and okay, a new tag. Let's go back up, and I know that this is a good one, the newborn photography. So let's go, let's see, let's go back to this. Okay, so let's do newborn photography. All right let's let's just do three okay so now if you want you can do group ideas just to test out so what I do is I'll go here and I see it's 20,000 which in low competition seems to be good so let me go inside this and see what's in here so pregnancy pictures okay perfect let's go because mo a lot of people they don't know they just know that they want something Pregnancy pictures. All right. 
Now, I, I know because I was a photographer for, you know, over 15 years. So I know that, you know, um, I know that individuals that are in maternity arena, they're going to see that newborn photo and they're going to go crazy and love it. Right. So we kind of want to stay in that arena. Okay, so let's see, newborn photo ideas, no, we don't like that, newborn photography, we already did that, maternity photography did that, um, we, let's stick with baby photography, that looks like a good one, let's, let's do that, uh, let's see, here we go, so we're gonna do baby photography, ah, if I could spell right. All right, so we have our keywords, okay? All right, let's see. We have our keywords, and what we want to do from here is, uh, let's see, we want the title. So, you know, newborn uh, photography was pretty big. So we can say, let's say, um, let me see. Uh, what your business name is. Let's say Beloved Newborn Photography. Okay. Ah, let's spell it right first. All right. And then what we're going to do is what is your location? Let's see. Um, I am moving to Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So let's just say Newcastle hyphen uh, newborn photography. All right. Then I want to rate it. So let's just give it a five. Okay. And here, this is where you're going to put your, your little quick vision. Okay. So beloved photography studios specializes and newborn photography for ah, for expecting mothers okay let's just put that okay so you're going to put your just a little quote just a little something okay that that can kind of uh stand out okay cuz this is what they're going to see See how they see that? People are going to see that when uh, they kind of scroll over your pictures, okay? Your author, um, let's just say Tanya Paxit. I am the author of the photo. All right. It doesn't matter necessarily when it was taken, um, but what you can next do is copyright. What I usually do is let's just say BelovedStudios.com. Dot com, okay, because then people can actually see, and if they want to see more, they can always take a look at more, because this might just show up anywhere in a search engine or something like that. All right, so it looks like we're pretty good right here. So now this is what you want everything to look like. Okay, I'm going to copy this so that way we can go back to the general and just say paste, okay. And uh, don't leave spaces. Do an underscore or something like that, okay? Or a dash. Uh, you don't want to leave spaces. All right. And so then I'm going to hit OK. All right. Ah. Okay. Well, that was quick. So now I'm going to hit OK. And now you see that new, um, beloved newborn photography, okay, beloved, and you can put beloved studios, newborn photography, whatever you want to do, okay? And now you see that the properties are going to have all the information that's linked in. And now when people go to search, they're going to see, let me go back here. When they go to search, uh, your pictures are going to show up for maternity photos, newborn photography, that type of stuff. Now you can even put, you know, uh, get in a little deeper and actually put in uh, Newcastle newborn photography, okay? So that way they can see, uh, you know, or Stafford, Virginia or whatever, they can actually get to see um, 
that will actually pop up when it's localized in the area. If somebody is in Newcastle, uh, Pennsylvania, or Stafford, Virginia, it'll actually pop up. Okay, so that is the tutorial there. Okay, um, let me see if I can do uh, newborn pictures. Okay, see how all these pop up? Great, right? Wouldn't it be great if your pictures were on there? Now let's go right here. Okay, you see how this stuff pops up? You want your stuff to be able to do that. Now I have to actually download this. Let's see if I could just... Um, I know I have so much stuff. Let's see. Let's go back into kids. Okay, so you can actually even, let's see if they did it here. Aha, look at that. I didn't even plan that one. Look at that. Okay, so take a look. St. Louis Newborn Photography. Okay, this is where they're located. Here we go, here's another. Let's go into details, newborn photography, St. Louis located in, look, you see how she does this? Look at all this, all the stuff, it localizes it. MO photographer, see, you would put like VA photographer, PA photographer, whatever, okay? Now she should have probably rated it. Um, she did do an author, it would have been great if she would have put copyright and put her, uh, you know, company email, uh, email address or whatever. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, website address and her comments. It would have been great if she kind of put that on there, but it's it's great. I mean, at least she did this part. So do you see how that's working out? And also, you never want to put your stuff at 300 DPI. If you're a photographer, that's just a freebie. You want to put it in at 96 or really 72 DPI, uh, which is going to be 600 by 900. Okay, why? And you're going to want to put your logo across it. Because in this image, I could easily, there's nothing on here. I have no logo, no nothing. And uh, there's no call to action. There's no nothing. Like uh, she could have put schedule your newborn photo shoot today. Click, you know, uh, newborn photography, St. Louis, whatever her company is. That would have been a perfect call to action. And I would be more likely because I see a call to action and a cute picture that I want for my baby. I would have done that. I would have went and clicked it, but you know, now I'm over here and I have all these people to choose from. Okay. There's no call to action. There's no nothing. Only one person, two people, three people, four. Okay. So four people out of all these pictures really have their, um, logo on it. Okay. Not good. Not good. Plus you put in all of your work in there. It's not good to just leave it for everyone to copy. But anyway, that is one of my freebies for you for one of our um, business exclusives here, all right? So I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, I got carried away looking at all these newborn itty bitty little things, they're so cute! Okay, anyway, sorry. So there's your tutorial, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, definitely, definitely use it, okay? See you later.